Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to cut vinyl fence. Probably the most asked question I get is, how do you cut the vinyl fence for the shorter sections? And I'm showing you guys how to do that today. So let's get started. Oftentimes when you're working with a vinyl fence, you're gonna to come to an end where the corner post meets. Usually that section is gonna be a little bit shorter as you can see on this section right here. So you're gonna to need to cut it to the size to make it fit. All right, for the tools, you're going to need a saw. You can use a skill saw, a hand saw, uh, a saw saw, any kind of saw with a fine tooth blade. I'm actually using a Craftsman vinyl cutting blade. Also, you may want to use some clamps. What this is going to do is hold your panels to the table while you're cutting it so they're not sliding around. Uh, also, some masking tape. What this is going to do is it's going to prevent you from scratching your vinyl. A tape measure so you can measure the distance between the posts and eye protection. For this vinyl panel kit, you're actually going to need to cut the top and the bottom rail, and you most likely will need to cut the panel itself uh, long ways because there's usually a gap in between the panel and the post. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, so when you go to cut your vinyl fence, what you're going to do is you're going to measure from that post to that post. And you're going to want to do this from the top and the bottom. So it's at 83 inches. So what you want to do is you want to allow for an inch on this side and an inch on that side to go inside the post. So we're going to cut these at 85 inches for the bottom rail. And you want to do the same thing for the top rail. They should be the same if they're level. Um, but it's just a good practice to, to measure both sides. All right, and that's pretty close. These haven't been concreted in and leveled yet. So it's going to be around 83. So again, we're going to cut these at 85. All right, so we're gonna start with the bottom row first. We're gonna go ahead and measure out the length. All right, so we said 85 inches for an inch on each side. If you wanna go about another half inch, that's fine. I'm gonna do 85 and a half. I'm gonna do a mark on the bottom and the top. If you don't have a straight edge with you, you can just use one of the panels to draw your line, just like that. All right, again, make sure you're wearing your eye protection. You definitely don't want to get vinyl in your eyes. Just gonna cut down the line. And you're going to repeat that for the top rail as well. All right, so now it fits to size. And now you're going to put your panels in it. Also something to note, since you did cut off the tabs on the end of the rails, it's a good idea to put a screw in here just so the, the rail doesn't slide in and out. Just like that. And that's going to keep it from sliding out of the post. All right, after you get all the panels put in, like I was saying, you're gonna usually have to cut one of these to fit. Um, you can see that's a little bit wider than the gap. So what you're gonna do is measure the gap between here and here on the top and the bottom. So you also, when you go to cut your panel, you wanna make sure you cut the right side. So you gotta make sure you cut from the female end towards the male end. You wanna cut from this side that way so they're different the, the way you want to make sure you cut it from the way that they connect together so you just want to measure it from the top 
to the inside. So it's right at four and a half inches for the top. And right at four and a half inches for the bottom. So once you get it cut the way you want it, you can use the trim piece to cover up the jagged edges. Just like that. Just like that. Slide it on in. Just like that. And then you put your top rail back on. All right, so once you get all the panels in, now you're gonna install your top rail. And there you have it. That's how you do the shorter sections. Well, that's how you cut a vinyl fence for the shorter sections. I hope you found the video helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more how-to videos in the future, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.